Hey, good morning, YouTube. I got a uh, another one for Saturday. This one I just received, so this will be kind of a dual unboxing and uh, Sack Saturday, I guess you call it. Came in the mail over the weekend, but uh, anyway, this is going to be the. Uh, Fix Torox Swiss Army Explorer knife. And uh, red 91 millimeter. Came in this little Victorian knife box. Let's get into it. Now, I really don't uh, carry these uh, four layer knives. Three layers for a Victorinox in the pockets, about the limit for me. But uh, I wanted this one, and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's got a couple features I really like on it. And uh, one of the features uh, is this magnifying glass. Now, I never thought. Uh, about using a magnifying glass until I got my Swiss Champ. And the Swiss Champ, I carry at work and at home sometimes, but mainly at work. And it came with this magnifying glass. And uh, lo and behold, I probably use that almost as much as I use the main blade. So uh, let's look at all those features. It's like I said, a 91 millimeter knife. Uh, it's got a uh, weight of 3.6 ounces. Its width is one inch and its length is 3.6 inches. And its height is 0.9 inches. It's got the red Celador uh, scales on it. It's not locking blade, of course. It's a lot, it's a spring back design. And the uh, number of features they say is 16. So we'll go through them real quick here. Let's go through the back scales first. Of course, you got your toothpick and your tweezers. Which, uh, you know, they're great little tweezers. They count this key ring. Uh, I don't know why as a function, but they do. This one has the corkscrew on the back. Now, I don't use a corkscrew a whole lot. If you look in here also, you can see that. There's a hole right there. It doesn't come with it, but you can put a straight pin in there, which I probably will. It also has your uh, partial hook. It has a awl with a scraper edge on it here, real sharp, and a sewing notch in it, which this is a great little awl. Uh, it has, of course, you're gonna have your main blade, pretty standard with a spear type uh, point on it. It has the pin blade right here. It has the, oops, they did already. But I can't seem to find them. Oh, yeah, there they are. It has the scissors, which these are probably some of the best pocket scissors you can have, in my opinion. I haven't found anything to beat them yet. Uh, we have a spring here, which is replaceable if it breaks, which is usually the only thing that you might have trouble with. It has, on this other side, it's got your standard flat tip, cap lifter, and the wire scraper there. It's got a 90 degree, 90 degree detent. And I love that snap on the uh, Swiss Army knives. It's, it's got Got a cool sound to it. And then you got your can opener with your small uh, 
three millimeter screwdriver. Ah. Right there. And then it has this great Phillips head driver here, which it locks at a 90 degree detent. It doesn't lock, I shouldn't say that. It has a 90 degree detent. And then it has a, uh, comes out here and snaps into place. Let's call it snap. Because they don't like you to say lock unless it's a lock in place. Some of the knife enthusiasts, purists will sit there and tell me that doesn't lock in place. It's just lock back to the iron or spring back to the iron. Okay. But we'll call it a snap. So it snaps into place. And it's got this uh, great uh, Phillips screwdriver on it comes out at the end, and then of course, like I was talking about in the beginning, it's got a magnifying glass. Now, people say it can be used as a fire starter and all this, but for me, I use this thing all the time. I didn't think I would, but I do. Uh, in my profession as an aircraft mechanic, we sometimes have to read part numbers or wiring, uh, numbers off of uh, electrical wiring, which is very small usually. And if you're older, like me, even with glasses, it's hard to read sometimes. So I find that little pocket magnifying glass invaluable for reading stuff like that. So for me, the coolest features on here is this magnifying glass and this Phillips. I like the uh, inline Phillips a lot. I like the magnifying glass and use it a lot. And I use the other things too, of course. Uh, you know, all the time I use the knives and I use the flat tips and the, and the can opener, believe it or not, because uh, we use metal oil cans to service our engine oils. So uh, having a can opener is a handy thing for me. But... Uh, that's pretty much it as far as tools go. Uh, it's available off of Victorinox website, uh, $65. I did not pay that for this. I got it off of Amazon uh, a little cheaper. And uh, I think I paid uh, maybe $50, $57 for this with tax and shipping. So got it a little bit cheaper. If you shop around, you might pick it up a little cheaper. But if you can't, it's still a good value of $65 off the uh, Victorian Knife website. Like I said, it's a four-layer knife, so it is a bit thicker. Uh, but it's not too bad to carry in the pocket. I've been carrying it. I mean, I, the, uh, the other four layers I've carried, and they're not uh, too terrible. Uh... You know, so uh, if you use it, it's very much worth it and uh, very handy. I carry, like I said, the Swiss Champ, uh, but I wanted something I could carry just in my pocket that had a lot of the same features that I use the most. So this one came in a winner. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I uh, hope you learned a little something about the Victorinox Explorer. And uh, I put these videos out about once a week. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Let me know uh, if you use one of these, if you've had one, if you like it. And that wraps it up for Sack Saturday. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope to see you on the next one. Y'all take care.